So, people are not perfect. You're not perfect. And at times you're going to make mistakes, whether that's with friends or family or professionally. And when people wrong you, you have to be willing to forgive. But that also goes the other way as well. and gents in Cyberland coming back to you with another um, educational video this time we are dealing with uh, forgiveness <laughs> so I am not perfect I'm never gonna be perfect nobody on this planet is gonna be perfect we we are a, um, a people that make mistakes and don't always do the right thing we sometimes will say things that can be hurtful could be outright mean or could just be um, not the best choice of words when with another person it's just the way it is so it doesn't hurt to say sorry it doesn't hurt to say I was wrong I made a mistake I apologize and uh, keep it moving um, because you're you're you are going to offend somebody whether that's a family friend or a colleague and they're gonna offend you. Um, but what you have to be willing to do is um, forgive those people for their transgressions against you and hope that they forgive you, um, that they forgive you for your, for your transgressions against them. Now, the problem with that is that some people think they're above forgiveness. They think they're above, um, I wouldn't, I'm not, not above forgiveness, they just think they're above saying sorry. Like they don't do anything wrong. Like they never say something foul or fucked up. Or they don't do something um, that's harmful to another person. There's a lot of fucking people in this world that just do shit to other people and are just not trying like like do 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 whatever that's your problem I know I did that I knew I did that fucked up shit to you but oh well deal with it mm, that's not good um I try not to hold on to grudges with people I have learned through aging that you have to forgive people not because you're happy with what they did especially if it was um, they wronged you professionally or um, as a family member or as a friend um, or just some asshole on the street their issues are not yours these people will wrong you and will carry on knowing what they did and think nothing of it because they feel like they got away with some shit. But they never do. They never do. You're not forgiving them. Because you're okay with what they did. You're forgiving them so you don't have to continue to hold on to that anger and hatred of that person. Forgiving them frees you from dealing with those people. And here's the other thing. When people wrong you or don't do right by you, forgive them and keep it moving. But always now keep in mind that you don't have to do shit for them.
you bought them. Their behavior, you bought them for that. Doesn't mean it's a monetary, it just means they can't come to you for anything. They can't come to you for help. They can't come to you for advice. They can't come to you for shit because they showed their ass. Now some people say, well, you're, you forgive them, but then you're not helping them, so you didn't forgive them. Like, no, I did forgive them. But that doesn't mean I have to help them moving forward. Fuck that shit. There has to be a line drawn somewhere, people. It's not just you forgive and then continue to be used. No, I don't think so. That goes with the man or woman. That goes with any type of relationship. Just because I forgive you doesn't mean I now need to continue to deal with you. I'm only forgiving you so I don't want you in the back of my mind anymore. I don't want to remember the shit that you did. It's still going to be there, but I don't want to hold on to being angry. Yeah, you screwed me out of, you know, some uh, commission. Or you cheated on me. Or you used to bully me in school. Or, you know, you said a bunch of shit about me that wasn't true and passed it along to other people. Or you harassed me. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, got, I have to forgive you. But at the same time, I ain't got to fuck with you anymore either, bitch. See what I'm saying? For those watching this, that's that's the thing. And there's people watching this to really get that. But there might be somebody, one of you that's watching this that doesn't understand that. And I'm just relaying that. Um, it's not good to hold on to grudges. But it's not easy to let them go either. Depending on what it was. So what you can do is just be like, okay. I'm going to wash my hands of you and your behavior, and then that's it. There's nothing else for us to say to each other. I don't have to do anything for you. I don't have to give you some type of information. I don't have to be available for your phone calls. I don't have to do a fucking thing. If I happen to know you. If I don't know you, I'll let life deal with you. And I'm going to point this out. Recently... There was a situation with a person that I, I know who had supported their had supported their um, spouse, and their spouse decided to shit on them and not do right by them. When the person who's supporting you through your endeavors, you're you're always supposed to have their back before anybody else. Because they were there for you when you had nothing, and they were there for you after you had shit. After you achieved your goals. You're never supposed to turn around and, and do wrong by them. That's the one person you don't do, but people sometimes do it. Well, the wronger of, of the relationship pretty much just got some serious karma. And now, um, you know. It'll be interesting to see how they proceed forward with their life because, you know, the wrong, the wronger of the relationship was forgiven by the spouse, but at the same time, it's like, I bought you for the, the, the shit that you did. I forgive you for what you did to me, but that doesn't mean I have to help you moving forward. I'm forgiving you so I don't hold on to that anger. But that doesn't mean that I have to be there for you moving forward. You lost that. You lost that for me. That. Um, that part of me is gone. Go find it from somebody else. If you can. And that's one thing I've learned as I have continued to learn. And I share that with you guys because, um, you know. It's not easy to forget. It's just not. But if you do it, it'll make your life a lot easier and a lot less stressful when it comes to dealing with the world. Because the people that wrong you, they never get away with it. They never get away with it. They never prosper. Um, I believe if you, if you uh, apologize and try to set things right, that's one thing. But these people never get away with it. They never do. And it's only a matter of time, maybe 10 years down the road, or five years, or a couple days, or a couple months, 
the wickedness that they had done to you comes back on them twofold. So while they are being judged for their behavior towards you, you don't need to hold on to being angry with them. You can just forgive them and uh, things will play out how they're supposed to. So with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one. <laughs> Take care.